So these are three cells. Bicarbon baking powder. So two teaspoons of bicarb to one teaspoon of baking powder for every 1.25 litres. Keeps the water clean. Obviously it's 24 volts, but I've only got 10 at the moment. Just turned it on a little bit. Got it. So you'll run this for LPG tank. First you'd prime your tank only once. You'd run all this through the alternation on dual battery. And maybe chuck in some solar if you wanna. And then it'll keep that regulated and topped up at least 60 litres there an hour so each cell consists of one of these stainless steel tubing power on the outside earth in the middle doesn't use so much voltage the centre one's neutral you have a two and a half inch two inch and one and a half at about 230 mils and just press together with fuel line and there's a one inch gap there from positive to negative again your baking powder and bicarb preferably McKenzie's And I'll say regular. I've only got 10 volts in there. 24 is preferable. So I'll just shut that off. That's your solar intake. Now let's keep on going for a little while. There's a bit of pressure. Or you can just go straight to the factory built. Fill this up with alcohol, preferably non flammable alcohol. That creates a stronger hydrogen, not so weak. When you put it with water, you'll lose a lot of the. through the water, it will turn back into electrodes. And you just hit one of these. This will work on the inverter. 600 watt inverter on a 12 volt battery. It'll run all day. For 10 minutes, you're lucky to use 0.0 of at least 2 volts. So, not even a volt every 5 minutes. You run that on a 12 volt battery system. Again, you can pump that into a tank. And it will run 75 litres an hour, no problem. And you can pick these up on the internet. But you won't find them under hydrogen. You actually got to look for jewellery making. So they make jewellery with the flame that comes out of this. It keeps it clean and hot and solid. And it will run at 10 amps, 12 amps. And again, off an inverter, no problem at all. But these will use caustic soda, 350 grams of caustic soda to every 700 mils of distilled water. You're probably going to need about 1.4 litres in there. And don't fill the water line up more than that top level, so at least half an inch underneath it, as you can see, because it creates the same pressure and will overload with pressure. And again, your water alcohol line to here, acting like a bubbler system. And again, that's pure hydrogen there. You make jewelry with, and that's guaranteed 75 litres an hour, which you would put into a storage tank and again, run it all through an LPG system for your car without looking for a fuel station. Uh, just make sure you let the 
car, the caustic soda and distilled water cool down at least three to four hours prior to use because it will create temperature and put it in a glass jar when making it no plastic or nothing like that and uh, it gets very hot so just allow it to cool down before you put it in the top there it's all Chinese instructions but again like I just said and again these are just three fuel, fuel cells of a 24 volt system I've only got 10 volts in there it won't run at its maximum but that's the cell there and because it's got the baking and bicarb it stays real clean if you just use bicarb you will get dirty water if you put just a little bit of baking powder in there it'll just go a little aqua green not even but it will stay clean like i mean real clean if you don't use baking powder with the bicarb you will just get mud simple as that and again, that's the fuel cell there. Stainless steel tubing, two and a half, two by one and a half, at least 230 mils just to not use so much. And again, there's a one inch diameter uh, OD from so that to that one, one inch. And you can either go earth or negative or negative or earth, preferably power on the outside. You won't use so much power, battery power if the power's on the outside. And again, this one will just keep on going all day. This is the one to get. And that's all factory cooling system, ready to go. You can pick up caustic soda for about 500 grams for about $6. And it's guaranteed 75 litres an hour, pure hydrogen. Just like I said, allow it to cool down, 350 grams of caustic soda to 700 mils of distilled water and put in a glass jar when making it and allow it to cool prior to putting in the top of that and do not overfill it. You pick these up for about $140 and they're a jewelry factory making machine, they only make jewelry and you'll get a little oxy gun and all that with the line but preferably don't use it put it in a tank, run it through your LPG system govern the gas, prime it up you only got to fill this up once and then they'll keep that, we'll keep that topped up and make sure it all shuts on and off as you drive or you can go straight to the pool carbonator you buy these from a pool shop it's a nine plate cell, powers on the outside, earths in the middle, three of them in the, each center is not hooked up, doesn't use bugger all voltage, but it likes a circulation tank because it creates a bit of heat. That's a temperature gauge, again 24 volts, and then your bubbling or your storage and then just transfer that straight into a trap and then again straight into your LPG and then into your LPG vehicle again here just make sure it's bicarb and baking or you're just going to get dirty water if you use bicarb two teaspoons of bicarb to one teaspoon of baking for every 1.25 litres of water And don't breathe this stuff in and tell the electricity companies why you're there and all the other buggers that just burn our fossil fuels for no reason. But this idea has been here for a hundred years. There's no reason why it can't keep on going. And again, zero emissions. Once this stuff's burnt, as we all know, it turns back into a drop of water. 
you want to run it through this and expect the lighter it will light but a lot of it will dissipate going through its own self again through the water turn back into electrodes and you get a little bit come out a lot but so make sure this is filled up with alcohol non-flammable and then you'll get the highest percentage of volume of hydrogen coming out to burn if you run that with water you're going to lose a fair bit of flame and power and performance in the hydrogen have fun and don't look for hydrogen fuel stations for a while because they won't be here